for me. My sanctuary is just being out in the open, being with nature, just spending time outside, getting to explore. Being in the Flint Hills here, we felt that we were just so connected to the land. That's one of my favorite parts. You're watching things die and then watching them grow again. You have this new life coming and it's just a new opportunity to, to do what you love every year. My name is Jacqueline Luffler from Americus, Kansas. I work with my dad hand in hand every day. We grow corn, soybeans, and wheat. And then we also raise feeder and stalker cattle and we retain those into fat cattle. There's nothing like farming with family. There's no comparison. There's a different love. Tensions might run high, but at the end of the day, it just feels great that it was family that did it. Jacqueline's my oldest daughter. She had a long journey in coming back here to the farm. My freshman year of high school, I was just a small town kid in Americus, Kansas. I won state and shot put in discus, and I ended up being an eight-time state champion. I was offered a full-ride scholarship at Kansas State University. I dove headfirst into pre-med. Around my junior year, I started to get more and more connected with people at the college that were involved in agriculture. I never thought this would happen, but my love for agriculture ended up winning out. She came home and expressed her interest of coming back. That's a proud moment. But at the same time, I'm sitting there trying to tell her the ups and downs of it. I said, it's not going to be an easy life. I ended up saying, hey, I just want to be here on the farm full time and help preserve that legacy that had already been put out before me here. She was determined to come in, so I opened my eyes and my ears and my arms and, and let her in. And it's been the best thing that happened because there's nothing like family. My grandpa entrusted my dad early on so that he could do what he wanted to do in life and allowed my dad to step in earlier than most people to start making those big calls. You know, I think that's what my dad has done for me is making sure I got involved within the industry really early, making sure that I have something of my own. Our problem was technology was moving so fast, it was hard to keep up with. When my daughter came back in with us, I kind of turned in the technology to her and she's done marvelous. The first time we implemented FieldView, you know, to us that was truly just like groundbreaking. In 2018, we had a really bad drought. And so we were able to watch the hybrids that were the drought guard actually kept their green longer. For us, that made a huge difference because we appraised at zero bushels an acre that year. And so that drought guard really paid off and gave us more tonnage. We chopped every single acre for silage, which turned into cattle feed. That helped us make a little bit of a silver lining. It is making small differences and all of them small differences after a while does add up. We're constantly learning and growing and teaching ourselves new things. If you stay stagnant, you're never gonna continue to succeed. And then you're not gonna have this anymore. My granddad and my dad, they came in 1941. I always look back at the land that we had. Each place has got its own little special history to it. So right here, we're in the Fruitland Township. This is the real historic part of the community before we actually had our town of Americus. We have three generations that are buried here this is something more than just a cemetery for us. It's, it's a true connection to the land because it truly is in the middle of our operation. You know, these were some great people that came before us and it, it allows us to continue everything that they helped us build. My great grandparents, they settled right into this area. Over time, they kind of accumulated this area, which is our home section. And then I go to the east and I see, you know, like I went to school right here and the first pieces of land I bought were right in this area. 
I think it's something that almost turns into a time capsule. You know, there's a set of pens that I can go and look at and be like, I made those pens with my grandpa. And I don't think everybody's that fortunate to have those type of memories that I get to have every day with my parents. That's pretty special. Leffler Farms to me is like super unique in the fact that we're actually growing the corn, we're growing the hay, we're growing the wheat to make the straw. We're then feeding all of those products right into our cattle. And then I start marketing all of those fat cattle direct to consumer. And so we literally have this closed loop that ends up feeding our own community. There's nothing more special than knowing that your friend, your community members, not only knows where their food is coming from, but they know the person that raised it. They understand the love that went into that steak in their freezer. Our wheels are always spinning of which way we're gonna go. We're gonna have a shortage of chemicals, shortage of fuel. We really don't know what to expect at times but we're happy with what we end up doing, getting up, working every day. If I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it with all my heart, all my mind, and all my soul.